We're on? Good evening and welcome to an hour with Bob. You caught me there, Corey. We're already ready. We're already set. We're already on the air. Welcome to an hour with Bob, folks. Here we are in this beautiful, beautiful, what? We're still in March, but it is, it is spring, right? And it's uh, 21.2 degrees Celsius, right? In the studio it is. But anyway, folks, welcome to an hour with Bob. We're going to have some fun tonight. We've got some great fun guests, some beautiful guests too. And a, a great band. What's the name of the band here? Dan Lily, Dan Lily and the Keepers, right? Yes. All right. Anyway, we're going to be with them in a second. With me tonight, direct from CBS 12, the anchor, the, the, the new kid on the block, actually, right? I'm not new anymore. Well, not, actually, you're not, you're not new anymore. You're not new anymore. Jennifer, oh, you're already on the air. They already put you on the edge. Jennifer Mobile, hi, hi. Nice to see you. Good to see you again. You look Thanks great. For well, thank you. Thanks for having me back. Now, when were you on last? Do you remember? Well, we were just arguing about this. I said it was um, probably almost a year ago, and you're saying no. No. It was August. I think it was August. Who, who's got that? Corey, do you remember that? I think it was August. <laughs> Don't bring Corey into this fight. I, th I think it was August, so that would make it like uh, eight months ago. Well, right? I started June 4th at WPRI, right. so yeah. I would say it was right around there. Right around August? <laughs> right around June. You think you were, you were here right when you were on? You're saying that? What are you trying to tell me? Sure. Really? Yeah, let's agree to disagree. Okay, now how, how's, how has it been? You're from Buffalo, New York, or that yeah, area, right? Yeah, yeah. Well, you think I forgot? No. You're I know that you forgot when I was here last, but I don't oh, think no, you Oh, no, I did not. I'm right. I'm sure I am. I'm, I'm right. I am right. Okay. Okay. Anyway, how's it been? You Now that you're uh, acclimated to the... Uh, it's been wonderful. I'm not going to lie. The first um, couple of months were, were rough, you know, just adjusting. And I think that, you know, anyone who's ever had to move before... Um, would say the same thing. It's tough, right. you know. Especially moving, moving alone. You know, you came yeah. here by yourself, right? Yeah, it's it's t it's really difficult to get acclimated to an area, right. you know. And Providence is big. Rhode Island, you know, although it is a small state, it's big when you're trying to learn an entire state and quickly. Right. Um, but. I'm definitely getting my feet planted, and I no longer use my GPS to get to work every day. Wow. How about that? <laughs> <laughs> so, so you learn quick, huh? Yeah. Well, how does it feel uh, weather-wise compared to Buffalo? Come on. Very warm. I'm not going to lie, you know. Um, Except you're cold in my studio. The studio's freezing. <laughs> but, um, you know, this winter I don't think was bad, you know. Right. Um, the blizzard. Um, That's that, like a normal day in Buffalo. It really was. You know, I, a lot of my friends, you know, because uh, I was posting stuff on Facebook and on Twitter, and my friends were watching our, um, our live streams, and they were calling me, and they're saying, oh, that doesn't look that bad. And I said, well, it's not that bad for Buffalo. Right. You know, we're used to this, but for Rhode Island, it's really bad. They're not used to this. Right. So, um, you know, for me, it was, it was a Tuesday. But for the folks here, you know, it was it was a blizzard. <laughs> and in fact, by the way, this year's winter was not all that bad, even f by our standards. Mm -hmm. But because last year, or the, the last season, last winter or a year ago, was uh, I, the mildest I think we've had on record. We've been spoiled. I think would we get 48 inches of snow this winter? Oh, I don't know. I'm not a meteorologist. Yeah, You're gonna I, have to ask I, Tony Petrarca. Yeah. <laughs> And um, I'm pretty certain that that's what he said the other night, that we only get 48 inches of snow this winter, which is probably uh, two snowstorms up in that's, Buffalo. Yeah, that's about a week. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's a week about is, a week in Buffalo. <laughs> well, it's four, well, four feet of snow, right? Yeah, yeah. Well, that can't be right, though. For, yeah, no, that's got to be it, isn't it? I don't know. 48 inches, 48, yeah. It yeah, was an English I know. Major. I know it wasn't a lot. I know it wasn't yeah. a lot. Yeah, yeah. So, have you made a lot of new friends? And what I do you, have. Huh? Yeah. Everyone at work is so, so sweet. Who's I've, your favorite? Oh goodness! No, I'm not going to no, say. No, I mean honestly, they're all my favorite. They're all really sweet. Um, this past weekend, we um, a bunch of us from work went to the Providence Preservation Society held their winter bash. It was their winter prom. Right. It was so much fun. Yeah. Yeah. So much fun. Yeah. So. Now where um, was that? Veterans? Was that Veterans Memorial? No, it was where at was the that? the old gas uh, building in downtown Providence. Oh, that's old, right. I think it was the National Grid building. Right. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, it was a lot of fun. So, I mean, I'm I'm really making a lot of friends, and I love it here. Well, you know what you got to go to? We're going to have her on a little later. You met Christine Bannon, yes, right? Yes, I did. The Ocean State Grand Nationals. This is in their 30-something year now, huh, Christine? How many? 
33. I knew it was over 30. 33 okay. years they've done it. And Christine Bannon, you met. Yes. And she still is, uh, still can kick it up pretty good. Uh, yeah. Yeah, she looks like someone I don't want to um, get mad at me. <laughs> <laughs> she looks very lovely. Well, she, well, she'll be on. And that, that, that event is a three-day event. It's okay. The 12th, 13th, and 14th of April. And they take over. They commandeer the entire, uh, well, I used to call it the Inn at the Crossings. What is it called now? The Crown Plaza. The Crown I still call it the Inn at the Crossings. That's at Rhode Island. That's Rhode Island thing. You know, I've... You, you, have figured you, have that you, out. Have you figured that out already? Yeah, when I've asked directions and they tell me, oh, you know where the old used to be? And I'm like, uh, no. Cause you, you've I'm, been here a year. How do yeah. you know where the old used to be? Yeah. Right? yeah, yeah. Now, when we were, when you were here last, we talked about food. Oh, I live for you food. You surprised me the way, you know, you eat like I do. Uh, bad. Yeah. <laughs> Very bad. Very bad. Um, Corey, did the around? <laughs> about, um, yeah, I, I think I've gained about, oh, I've gone up maybe two dress sizes. No, I've, you have Yes, no, seriously. Cut it out. No, no you yeah. Have yeah. No, really, I have. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah. And, uh, Rhode Island food is delicious. Uh, well, you get good. We do delicious. have good food. We do have good food. But now, Buffalo is an Italian city, though, right? There's a lot yeah. of Italians in Buffalo. Absolutely. I remember that. I remember mm -hmm. going there. I've, I've been there many, well, mm -hmm. not many times, probably at least a half a dozen times. Because my brother in law used to live in Rochester. Okay. And there's a lot of Italians in that town. Yes. And I had been to Buffalo and Lewiston. Mm -hmm. Is it Lewiston? Yes. The town outside of Buffalo. Yep. And I was amazed at how many Italians were there were in that area. Mm -hmm. And how's the food there compared to the food here? Um, I would say it's different. I mean, obviously, you know, um, in Buffalo we eat mostly chicken wings. <laughs> No, really. <laughs> really. I mean, chicken wings. Um, oh, that's right. You don't have seafood, real seafood. No, you have no. Freshwater sea yeah. Seafood, right? Yeah. Um, and again, you know, I talked about this last year when I was here. Um, I cannot find a chicken finger sub here to save my well, life. I, well, you have We haven't got together yet, because I'm telling you, I will take you to the chicken finger sub capital, of the Rhode Island. We gotta go. And, we gotta oh, go. And, and you had chicken, uh, buffalo chicken pizza. Yes. Yes. Where have you had a good one? Um, well, we go uh, next to work to Not Your Average Joe's. And then um, there's another place near work, and I don't know the name of the restaurant because I never go and pick it up. See, I'm not a big fan of uh, uh, franchise Could be Lucky's, yeah. Oh, Lucky's is yeah. good. Yeah, 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 we go there a lot. And I was going to say that. That's a better... Yeah. I don't, I'm not a big fan, although we go to... Applebee's all the time, and it's mm -hmm. good. But, um, you know, after the show tonight, we'll probably end up at Applebee's. Is that true, Corey? Uh, we usually end up at Applebee's, right? We do, yeah. But I, I'm, I, I really prefer the mom and pop places or the I standalone yes. places because the, the, the franchise places have a tendency to be, you know, obviously they're all the same. Mm -hmm. Like, I, li I like, um, we were talking about pizza before, mm -hmm. and you like, you had pizza, Twins Pizza in North yes, Providence. Yes, last night. They're very good food there, and they have had, very and, and they've been very consistent for probably 40 years. I know that family for years, mm -hmm. yeah. They have very, very good food over there. Very delicious. Very consistent. <laughs> Real Italian. You can smell it when you drive by. Yes. You know, very good food. And right yes. across the street, Mozzarella's has the best, uh, awesome buffalo Yes, and not pizza. to change the subject, but... Um, You're going to. Well, I well, kind of, but not really. Yes. Um, do you kind know where of. my cousin took me that I totally am obsessed with is Wright's Chicken Farm. Oh my God! Oh my goodness! We did a show there. We got to do another oh. show there, Corey. We did a show I'll there. I'll co-host with you. Yes. What, what, you I've do? never we'll do that. eaten so much chicken is and French crazy? fries in my life. They have the best French fries on earth. That's like unheard of. You just go and you just eat and eat and eat. You just keep, they just keep bringing it. We did a show there. I I went in the kitchen. They have seventy-five ovens. Each oven holds 16 chickens, and they start cooking two and a half hours before they open. Wow. So, because it takes two and a half hours to cook a chicken. There's oh, no, I did not know that. Yeah, there's no, uh, no microwaving. Mm -hmm. There's not, everything's cooked fresh. And you can tell. I mean, it is delicious. Oh, the, the I mean, I seriously called all my family at home, and I told my parents, I said, the next time you come to visit, I'm taking you to this place. It is so delicious. Yeah, they've been there for years. I know the family yeah. for years. And, and I, we did a whole whole show. I was cooking chickens in the kitchen. 16 chickens to each oven. Let's go. You want, oh, we'll I, I want to go because I, I asked my cousin to go with me, and she keeps saying that she won't go back with me because last time she went, she gained two pounds. And she's trying to lose weight, so she said she won't go back with me. Really? So I have no one to go to rights with. Rights from. Oh, it, the French fries. Well, so if anyone wants to go to rights with me, right. call right. me up. We're going. Uh, the, the French fries, they buy potatoes 
by the uh, train car loads. Those French fries were delicious. That it, so different so from any fresh. other place. The, the French mm -hmm. fries, it's so different. And, they, and they're cooked different. They have a special way of cooking. I'm not yeah. even supposed to say, and I won't say. But I mean, I've watched how they do it. It's a special thing, that a special way they do their French fries. Very good. It, yes, it is very good. But again, you, you, you do end up eating a little a little bit when you Oh, yes. So where else? Where else? <laughs> well, what else? If, it, if not even food, maybe something else. Oh, you know what I'll do? I'll give you a chance to think about it. Okay. Why I say hi to my boys over here. Is that Dan, Dan Lilly? Is that Dan Lilly over there? You see Dan Lilly over there? Are, are those the seekers? What are they seeking? Oh, the keepers. Well, they're keeping the keeping, the seeking. What are they doing? They well, there's a story behind the name. Well, that's why I want to hear it. <laughs> yeah, it's, a, it's a, <laughs> well, we were, you know, we were together for a little while, about uh, six months or so. We did one of our first gigs. You know, right. We we're calling ourselves the Dan Lilly Project, which is, or the Dan Lilly Band, which is right. kind of uh, generic, you know. Yeah. So luckily, though, one of our friends came. There was this woman who wanted to check out the new band. And uh, she came and walked in, and we were in the middle of a song, and she started, and she yelled out, these guys are keepers, Dan. These there you go. Keepers, you know, and we were looking oh, for I a like name. That. I just looked at these guys. I said, there you go, you guys. We got a name. Now you're keepers. <laughs> All right, let's hear it, keepers. Let's hear a song from Dan, Lily, and the Keepers. Don't want to talk to anyone But there was a time I had things to do Places to go People to meet to I think I'll go out walking for a while Maybe I'll find someone there Who still knows how to smile Maybe I'll find the strength to carry on dream the way I always do some big idea that I can share with you then I start thinking I've been this way before I remember what happens the slamming of the door I think I know I'm walking for a while maybe I'll find someone there who still knows how to smile Maybe I'll find the strength to carry on Cause I know there's a thousand things to do right now Why am I so important to attend? I know I should be thinking of the who, where and how But where's it gonna get me in the end?
keepers, you know. They are keepers. They're keepers. Now, we met at East Greenwich, right? Yeah, at the, at the hotel. Yeah. At the hotel. Yep. East Greenwich Hotel. What a place that is, huh? <laughs> Isn't that a coolest yeah, place? Sure, yeah. I would, I would love, if I hit the lottery, I'd love to buy that place and, and just do that whole place over. That is such an awesome place. The, the people are, are nice there. The mom and oh, yeah, uh, the, the, uh, the daughters there. Joanne and, jo and Ma. Yeah, and Ma. Well, that's, what I, yeah, that's what I call the Ma. Uh, yeah, yeah. Like Frank Sinatra's going to come walking in the door anytime. He's exactly. Well, uh, George Washington stayed there, right? <laughs> so they say. So they. Uh, hey, uh, do you know? Do you know that? And you, maybe you don't know this. Do you know the United States Navy? The United States Navy began right across the street from that place. I did not know no. that. At the that town, bar? Did that bar? Across next door. Street? Next door. You know where? Um, yeah. Town Hall. You you go walk in front of Town Hall, in front of the building. You see the plaque. The U.S. Navy began there. I'll check it out. Yep. Right there, a lot of history. I've been up in that clock tower in, the, oh, in one of my adventures. You've been everywhere. Well, we've been around a little bit. I haven't been anywhere lately since the knee's gone, but before that, and soon enough, we'll be back in the action. We're back now, to climbing. Yeah. Now, another place, food wise, mm -hmm. Lancelotti's close, you know, in that area. Okay. They have, uh, you can go in there, they have chicken family style, mm -hmm. but they also have, Wednesday through Sunday, they have, they'll put the hotel pans out, and you can have, they must have seven or eight different kinds of chicken. You can have it, uh, chicken franchise, chicken parmesan, chicken whatever. You can buy just a piece of chicken, and it's all to go. Oh, wonderful! Like being a single guy or a single person, you can you can say, give me one of them, one of them, one of them, mix and match. Oh, how fun! You, if you like mashed potatoes, you can have mashed potatoes. Mm -hmm. If you don't like mashed potatoes, but you like pasta, you can have pasta. Oh, how for nice! For a side, you can you can buy any of the things with a side or without a side. Sure. And they have uh, two or three different veal. They got veal and peas. They got veal and parmesan. They got veal and Peppers, they got all different varieties. Oh, how nice. Another thing I really like is they got Italian sausage, peppers, and um, potatoes mixed together. And you can buy it by a pint You're or a quart. Me hungry. And it's cheap. It's really, really, it's really I'm a nice thing. I'm hungry now. But there's a lot of places in Rhode Island. I mean, it's unlimited. I can yeah. tell you 100, 200 places in Rhode Island that are, that are good to eat. Wait, and an idea for you, when my kids were small, I have an 18-year-old and I have two grown-up kids. When my grown-up kids were small, we used to, I used to take a map of New England and I'd put it on the wall and I'd blindfold one of the kids and they'd go around wherever they touch we went to. Oh, what a fun idea. I, I did that once a month and the other three weeks I put a map of Rhode Island up and we'd hit a spot in Rhode Island. What a fun idea. And you can take... A quarter of the, the state, well, maybe not a quarter of the state, a sixteenth of the state every mm -hmm. every week or every other week and hit all the areas in that part of the state. That's actually a great idea. It's a good way. And, and by the way, if you did that, you'd know more than 90% of Rhode Islanders know. Right. No. Yeah. Because they don't know it. Because you ask people if they've been to like uh, Block Island mm -hmm. or Prudence Island, they never have. But you get outsiders that have been there. Sure. It, it's amazing to me that uh, how... how you know, they, they say Rhode Islanders don't travel. They're a contradiction because I, I've, well, I've seen pe people from Rhode Island in Thailand. Well, but I think that's true, I mean, anywhere you go. You know, the, a lot of people, you know, who live in a specific area, they don't explore their, their own area. Their own right, area right, but, right. I mean, they can tell well, you, you know, about areas, you know, in other parts of the country that they visit often. Right. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, because I, I got to take that back because I have, like I said, I, I was in Thailand interviewing a guy from Rhode Island in mm -hmm. Thailand, and while I and I was my own cameraman. While I'm interviewing him, a couple walked by at the water because I was there two months to the day after the tsunami they had over there a few mm -hmm. years ago, and he was explaining to me what had happened what, with the boat he was on. Mm -hmm. And as I'm talking to him, this couple walked by, and the guy turned to his wife, and it was only six five or six feet behind the guy I was interviewing. And the guy turned to his wife and he hey, goes, I know hey, him. look, no, no, he goes, look, there's Bob from Bob's Big Adventure. I stopped the interview. Bob's everywhere. I stopped the interview. I go, hello, excuse me. And they end up being from Newport. They were the owners of Christie's Restaurant, which oh, another place great. is no longer there. Aw, yeah. how sweet. And I've had it happen in, in Finland, same thing. I was in Helsinki, Finland, waiting for a, a, a bus. And there's one guy sitting about eight feet away from me and I'm, Trying to figure out how I'm going to find the bus Bob I got to be on. Bob everywhere. I'm, gonna, I'm looking for the, it's all in Finnish. I can't mm -hmm. read any of it. So I turn, I said, excuse me, sir. 
I says, uh, can you tell me what bus I take to go to Turku, Finland, where they build the cruise ships, right? Mm -hmm. I was going there because they were building the world's biggest cruise ship, and I wanted to do a Bob's Big Adventure there. And the guy says, oh, Bob, you take the second bus. And I stopped for a second. I, knew, I thought he said Bob, so I, I, I'm looking at my luggage, because I got my luggage with me, and I'm seeing if I got a tag hanging off it or something with my name on it. I didn't. I said, excuse me, what did you say when I asked you? And he repeated himself, but he omitted the word Bob. I said, no, no, you added something else there. So he laughed. He goes, yeah, I, I told you that uh, uh, you take the second bus, Bob. I go, how did you know, how did you come up with Bob? He goes, well, that's your name, isn't it? I go, how do you know that's my name? He goes, oh, I and he said you. what you said. And he said, everybody knows you. I go, please, <laughs> I'm in Finland. And then he proceeded to really baffle me because he said, I asked him where he was from. He said, Brazil. Now he's really, he's playing with me. Come to find out. When he was done playing, he admitted that he was born in Brazil, raised in Cranston, Rhode Island. Oh, my goodness. And he's married to a Finnish girl. Small so, world. So he was in Finland visiting with his wife. His wife was somewhere else, mm -hmm. and he was, uh, he was coming. He had, had to come later. So he was, and here he is. Um, and he's the only person next to me. You know, it isn't like I'm in a, like, you go to uh, Disney or something, you mm -hmm. see somebody you know. Right. We should tell your viewers how sweet you were. Um, at Thanksgiving, when I was all alone and working, and Bob brought dinner to the TV station for me. I forgot all about that. I, I did. did. You know what? I did. I forgot all about you that. You know, a lot of people say that New Englanders are cold, but I disagree. I disagree. My experience here has been so wonderful. Everyone has been so kind and so sweet and so friendly. And again, you know, I will never forget. Um, you know, I had anchored, I think we just had, well, we did a 5, a 5.30 and a 6 that day, and then um, I had come into the newsroom, and um, the person on the assignment desk said, Jen, Bob brought you Thanksgiving dinner, and I said, what? I, then and I did, thought, wait a oh minute, did you goodness. say what, Bob? No, because then I got your message. I got your, because I had my phone with me, and I oh. got your message, and I thought, oh my goodness, how sweet. That was just so sweet, and I, I you know, I just want to thank good? you again. It was delicious. I forgot. All, I did. I forgot all about that. Well, I, did. I, did. I honestly did. I will never forget. Thank you. Well, you were new to the area. No, you didn't know anybody. You were by yourself. Yeah. In a, in a, you know, strange place for you. You know, yeah. I thought it was pretty adventurous. You know, coming to it, it's pretty difficult somebody to move. It's bad it enough is. moving with a family, but when you're moving alone. And it was nice because you know I was missing my family. Right. You know. Obviously, my entire family was back home enjoying Thanksgiving together, and I and was you were working, working? Which, which is fine. I don't mind working, you know, right. the holidays, so that you know the folks that I work with who are married and have children can spend the holidays with their family. Right, right. Because someday I hope, you know, if I do get married and have a family, that somebody you know, does the, the same younger, for you. the younger people that I work with would, you know, return the favor. So, but that was just so sweet. Thank oh. you. Well, thank you. Thank you for remembering yeah. that because I, I, I honestly forgot all about that. I did. I, I forgot. Oh. <laughs> that was nice. Yeah. <laughs> so, what do you want to do? What, where have you been or not been that you want to hmm. go to around here? Well, um, I have not been to the Cape yet. Well, yeah, that's coming up though. You. Yeah, I think you know. Um, you know, once the weather breaks, I'll do more exploring outside. Um, I've hit all the big shopping destinations. Really? Oh, so yeah. you're a shopper, huh? And my credit card can prove it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, you know, I'm just, I'm, I'm waiting for the weather to break, you know, right. to do all the outside stuff. So, you know, because last summer I was still really nervous to, you know, go out and explore. I was just, you know, stricking, sticking strictly to the path, you know, getting to work. GPS that was it. Wise. Oh, yeah, yeah. I didn't want to venture out alone. But now I'm really starting to feel comfortable, so well, I'm... I'm going to get you a map of Rhode Island. Okay, so and then we're going to do the blindfold? Yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> well, and, I'll, and I'll show you the best beaches in Rhode Island. Okay, I'm not much of a beach girl, believe it or not. I don't like to tan. I don't like no? to lay out. I don't like going in the water. Yeah, I do like... Um, How about fishing? Mm. No? I, you know what? I can't, I can't say no because I've never tried fishing, and I would actually like to try it. Um, I do love... Um, I did... I did an event, uh, an estate, a station event, the uh, probably about two weeks ago, down in East Greenwich, and then Susan Roberts and I walked around the the town, and oh my goodness, it I, was. I love oh, East Greenwich. I love the town. Beautiful. Beautiful. Yeah, that is a cool, beautiful. cool town. I lived there. I lived there for five years. Oh really? I did. Yeah. I, I moved there to put my son in the school system. I can see. Back why in it was the day, it's a, it's a real, real nice yeah. town. It's an so, old town. 
small town feel. Yeah. And and I don't think there's three empty stores in the in the whole downtown. No. Every, every store is full down there. And see, that's what I want to do is I want to start, you know, exploring all the cities and towns here in Rhode Island and, you know, just really getting to know the state more. Yeah, and there's a lot to see. Yeah. As little as we are, there's an awful lot. We still have the oldest, we have the oldest country store in the country. Oh, I did not know that. Yes. I'm, I'm one of these person of useless facts. I have a... I'm, I love history. I an abundance of useless facts. I love history. Yeah? So. Well, there's a lot of history in this state. I know. Well, right here in this city. I the, know. The, the Samuel Slater. I know. Started the, the Industrial mm -hmm. Revolution right here in Rhode Island. Yep. In Pawtucket, actually. I did know that. And the guy that uh, is owner of uh, Lady Pepper Hill and um, BVD and, um, what is it, uh, Fruit of the Loom <laughs> from Pawtucket. Fruit of the Loom? Fruit of the Loom. Oh, I did not know that. How do you like that, though? <laughs> No, but there's a lot. There's a lot of places we can do. I'm going to make a list for you okay. to go to places you want to see in Rhode Island. I like it. All right. I, I know like you got to get back to work. I now, do. What, what are you working? Uh, you're doing a lot more now, huh? You started off, and uh, now you're getting. You're really getting. Uh, no. Into the action. no. Yes, you are. Yes, no. you are. No. 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 Yes, you are. I'm still doing what I. Oh, what I what do. What are you doing? Oh, right, tell me what you're doing now. You're doing the uh, the five. I do the 5.30. 5.30. You mm -hmm. do the 5.30. And yeah. then I report for the 10 and the 11. But I've seen you on the 6 before, too. Um, you I fill only, in yeah, I, I, yeah, when Susan, Susan is when either Susan's sick up. or right. is she's on vacation. Yeah. And the poor thing, she's been really sick. Last week, she had an awful, awful, awful sinus infection. Really? So, yeah. Yeah. So. She's, not, she's the one that told me to have you on the show. She's now. so sweet. I yeah. know. Yeah. She's really a sweet girl. Yeah, she's very nice. Yeah. Well, we'll get her on one of these. We days will. She's we will. Better. Maybe I'll bring her on with you. How's that? <gasps> that be cool? Double huh? trouble. Yeah, I don't was... know if you could handle both of us. Uh, I'll, I'll <laughs> die trying. I'll die trying. I can you handle might. it. You might. All right. Let me get <laughs> you out you. of here. Thank Guys, you. Guys, take us out of here. Give us another song. <laughs> we'll be right back on an hour with Bob. forever Summer nights are so long But none of that means anything now that you're gone Fireflies flashing in the forest Jupiter up in the sky Used to mean so much But that was back when you were mine And I could have swore we were gonna stick together. Yeah, I could have swore you said you would always be mine. And I could have swore we were gonna last forever. Yeah, I could have swore we had love to last our time. Since the last time you let go of my hand Sunlight sparking on the water Seashells lying on the shore I'm looking for you But you're not here anymore And I could have sworn We were gonna stick together
say the summer comes and it's the best time to make a new start. Seagulls laughing on the shoreline, dragonflies buzzing in the air. I try to find the magic, but I'm looking for you everywhere. Yeah, I could have swore we were gonna stick together. said you would always be mine Yeah, I could have swore we were gonna last forever Oh, I could have swore we had a love to last all time Dan Lilly and the Keepers. Nice job. Hey, Christine Bannon Rodriguez is in the house. John, you're losing me, John. There you are. Is that John Flanagan? John Flanagan's on camera tonight. Christine, again. Again. I only get to see you, well, I get to see you a few times here, but I only get to see you on my show. Oh, no, twice. Christmas time. Twice yeah, for Tots. Twice for you, guys, you guys every year have been phenomenal with me. Phenomenal for the kids, for the toys. It's a fun time. event that we really look forward to every year. It's one thing that we uh, put on the calendar, and you know, I, I call you at the beginning of the year. Do you know when the show is going to be? Because we want to make sure we have our tournament and yep. raise as many toys as we can. And you always do in the hundreds, several hundred toys every yes. year. You guys, you, you and Don, and the whole gang over there down in uh, Commerce. Commerce Way? Drive. Commerce Drive. Commerce Drive in Warwick. In Warwick. Uh, Don Rodriguez Karate Studio, yeah. and. You have you put on an event every year, and instead of them having to pay an admission, they their payment is a toy. Right. So we actually, have. you in, in essence, you donate. Yeah, we donate the awards, all the trophies and stuff, and then they bring in toys to be able to compete. And you know, it teaches the kids, you know, a nice lesson that you know there, there's kids out there that aren't as fortunate as they are, and. Um, you know, we have the spectators bring in little stock and stoppers, and you know, the kids that compete bring in the bigger toys. And you know, it's a fun day for everybody. They all go home with awards, so. Yeah. So. Anyway, your your little ones aren't little anymore. No, they're not. They're getting old. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Now, is your son Dante is he competing in this? Yes. Yes. Both both of my both, boys. Both of them are. Yes. Wow. Now this is the 12th, 13th, and 14th of right? April. Of April, and it's at. It's at the Crown Plaza. Crown Plaza. Hotel I, in I cannot Warwick. get away from the Inn at the Crossing. I keep <laughs> saying the Inn at the Crossing. It's at the Crown Plaza in Warwick, and it starts Friday night, right? Yes. Uh, competition. We'll have black boat competition Friday and Saturday. Right. Um, Sunday we have all the underbelts. You know, some more of the beginners and stuff will be all day Sunday. But our big show is Saturday night. Saturday that's, night. That's where everybody competes. Now you're keeping everything there. Yes. This year. Yes. Okay, because I know in some past years you've had some at the Providence and uh, at the convention, convention center, right. center and, and and we've used uh, CCRI, um, right. the field house over there too. Right. But Did you actually commandeer that whole hotel. Basically? Yes, we take over the entire hotel for the entire weekend. Every ballroom that they have and wow. Yeah. So the main ballroom will have the big nighttime show Saturday night, and that's where you'll see the best of the best throughout the country and from other countries. We have. Some real tough competition this really? year. Really? Yeah. You got any favorites? You got anybody uh, that, that looks uh, like. Uh... Um, for fighters, the Paul Mitchell team just picked up two Hungarian fighters. Young, they're like 18, 19 years old. And they and are good fighters. Oh. I've been there for you, oh. for, for you and your husband in years past. I went yes. over there to uh, uh, officiate a couple of events uh, in the past yes. in Hungary. In um, Deborah Sun Hungary, right. by the way. Yeah, so I think um, those guys are, are, you know, definitely probably favorites to win. Yeah. Um, this other guy, um, Russ Levine, has won our grand uh, men's fighting grand in the last several years. He comes from New York, so I'm sure he'll be there trying to defend his title. Now, what's the U.S. team trials? What is that? Uh, we, on Friday night, we have the Waco U.S. team trials. Oh, yeah, that's, that's out of Milan, Italy, Waco. Right? Uh, that's, that's where that's the he's... president is from, yeah, yes. Yeah, I've met him. I've met him before. Yeah. I don't know if he's the same guy. But yeah, yeah, Anio Calzone, yeah. Oh, yeah, yes, yeah. yes. Anio. And so we have the world championships in uh, Turkey this year. Oh, and, really? Right. So every year there's a world championships. Um, well, tell Don I'm available this year. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> what weight division? <laughs> when is it? No, no, not the fight. Not the fight. Wait, wait. Uh, when is it? When is it? Okay. 
Um, it's in December. Oh. It's in December. Yeah. And uh, what they'll do is they'll have the, the team trials for the adults. So if they win on Friday night, then they'll represent the United States at the World Championships. Wow. So. Now this Ocean State Grand Nationals has run, what did you say, 33 years? 33 years this year. That's amazing. It is. That's amazing, without missing. Yes. Every year for 33 Every year. years. Now do you have any headliners? Or who's coming, anybody coming this year? Um, you know, we've had some. You've had some great ones. Chuck Norris Chuck several Norris times, and, uh, uh, um, Superfoot. Last year we had Shannon Lee, Bruce Lee's daughter, and uh, Don Wilson and Cynthia Rothrock last year. And you know, we've had some. Now, are you Huge competing? Celebrities. No. Come on! <laughs> I, I, I still love what you do. <laughs> I still do demos and teach. Does anybody and... do what that thing with the sword that you do? Does anybody um, else do that? Can anybody, have, can anybody else do that? I actually have a student that, that I taught how to do it, and he was competing using it um, really? a couple of years ago. And, and you know, there, there's a few people out there that, that use it, but, you know, not, um, not right now on the circuit, nobody. No, because I, I was always amazed by that. You know, I, that amazed, that's phenomenal. In fact, you can lay on, I don't know how you do it, you can lay on the floor and you spin the, the swords underneath your body without, yeah. how do you pop yourself up? Stomach muscles. <laughs> that, that makes you pop up yeah. with your stomach muscles? Just stomach muscles, yeah. Pops up off the floor, you're laying prone <laughs> on the floor and she runs these swords that Connected to a what, a cloth or something, some kind of a. I have a whip chain that has a, that has a flag on it so that you can see it. Because if not, you wouldn't see it. It moves so fast. So. And she whips this thing underneath her using her hands or not her hands like this. Well, one's using the sword, going underneath her, and she only pops up off the floor with her stomach muscles. It's the most amazing thing. It's it's like, it it violates gravity. Or something. <laughs> and I've never seen anybody else do it but her. Right. For many years. Yes. Yep. But you can still do that, right? I can still do it. I actually did it a couple of weeks ago. A good friend of ours had a, his school organization uh, big banquet in Connecticut. So. Well, next time you come yeah, here, I want you, you to do it. <laughs> next time, right? You next better, time she comes here, I want her to prove it. You're going to have to clear all these cameras and bins yeah. out of the way, though. <laughs> I need some space. <laughs> Now, who sponsors this whole thing? Who puts this all together? Oh, God. We have quite a few sponsors. Uh, Paul Mitchell Hair Products, of oh, course. Oh, yeah. Always you know, for they, years. Yep. They've always sponsored us. Macho Products. Um, we have the Tory Lynn Andriozzi Foundation, the city of Warwick. Now, that's your, she used to be in, uh, go to your school, right? Yes, yes. I Tor remember her. Tori was one of our black belt, junior black belts that was and hit. what by, happened? She was hit by a car. She was hit by a drunk driver getting off the bus from school, you know, and just... Uh, you know, has never walked again and has been in a wheelchair. And, you know, she was, I, I want to say 12, 12 or 13. She, yeah, 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 she was good. She was, she, um, I don't think it was last year, I think it was the year before we made her an honorary member of uh, the Paul Mitchell team. Really? Yeah, we brought her up on stage in the wheelchair and stuff. And, you uh -huh. know, she just lit up, you know, so. Yeah, yeah how old is she now? Oh my God, she's 20 something, right? She's, I want to say 18, 19, oh, 19? Uh, somewhere she, around no, there. She's 20. Yeah. Oh, maybe. No, you're right. Yeah. I, you know, time flies. I mean, it I does. can't believe it's as long, as long ago as it is, you know? I mean, it was, happened right before our tournament and it was crazy. Wow. It was awful. But yes, we have, um, you know, quite a few sponsors in the city of Warwick, of course, always is there for us. And, yep. uh, you know, they like keeping it in Warwick if we can, you yes. know? I mean, uh, the convention well, what center. a boost for Warwick. It is, it Early. is. I mean, you take over, you come in there almost all the hotel rooms, right? We, we take over the, the Crown Plaza is, com, you know, it's probably already booked right now and it's, we're almost three weeks out, uh, a little, little less than three weeks. And we take out, every other hotel in, in Warwick, you know, has. Some, some of them rooms. Some, some of the rooms, of, right. Right, right. So, you know, they're all calling, what are the backup hotels? And we have to give them out and, you know. Because you got people coming from all over the United States, right? Right. We have, um, and we have a huge con uh, contingency from Canada coming in this year. We yeah. have some really big groups from Canada, um, the Hungarians and, and hopefully some people from, you know, Central America, Guatemala and stuff like that wow. coming in. So. Well, I'll be there. We'll be there. Yes. All right. So, again, it's April 12th, 13th, and 14th, Friday night it starts. And starts that's Friday all day night. Saturday, or is it just Saturday night? It's um, probably from 9 in the morning to maybe around 2 Saturday, and then we have a nice little break, and then the nighttime show starts at 7.30. Right. Saturday night. Saturday and that's night. that's and the Sunday, show to see. And Sunday, what's the time on Sunday? Uh, it starts at 9 o'clock, and we'll probably go until about 3, and that's all the beginner intermediates, you know, from little four-year-olds to 
to the oh, seniors. That's always cute seeing that. That's always cute seeing <laughs> yes. the little ones. I really like seeing the little ones. They're All adorable. right, Christine Bannon Rodriguez, we're going to send you on your way and uh, thank you. Say hi to Don. For I us. sure will. He said to say hello, and he's holding down the fort at the school tonight, and I'm going to head back there. And you're going to work tonight, right? Of course. <laughs> <laughs> we got a clip, Corey. We got a clip. All right, give us a clip. We'll be right back on an hour. Bob, I've got a special guest for you tonight, folks. It's amazing race time. Marijuana is a psychoactive plant commonly known as cannabis, grass, pot, or weed. Used by 167 million people worldwide, marijuana polarizes public opinion with one side trying to legitimize the plant and the other trying to wipe it off the planet. In 1970, the U.S. federal government passed the Controlled Substances Act, classifying marijuana as a Schedule I drug, just like heroin. This designates the drug as having a high potential for abuse with no medicinal value. But not everyone agrees. In defiance of federal law, at least 14 U.S. states now allow patients to grow or purchase marijuana on a doctor's recommendation. Chief among these rebel states is California. Oakland resident Juliet Hopper works as a management consultant. For the past 10 years, she's battled both cervical cancer and fibromyalgia a condition that causes intense pain in her muscles and bones. From my neck all the way down, I'm in a lot of pain. The best way I can describe um, an FM flare-up, which is what I'm dealing with right now, is someone taking a baseball bat to your major joints and just hitting you as hard as they can for hours. And that's the pain that you're dealing with. It's unending nerve pain. While living in Ohio, Juliet took a large number of pain medications that slowly destroyed her liver and kidneys. Even though Ohio prohibits medical marijuana, her physician privately recommended she try it. I've been using a measuring spoon to kind of create a diary of what works best for my pain management and my symptoms. Marijuana contains a complex mixture of more than 60 unique active compounds known as cannabinoids. The two most abundant are tetrahydrocannabinol, or THC, and cannabidiol, or CBD. When ingested, the compounds attach themselves to cannabinoid receptors, the molecules that affect neural signals in the parts of the brain governing memory, anxiety, appetite, coordination, and pain. Hi. Juliet uses a vaporizer to consume her medical marijuana. It heats up the uh, cannabinoids enough to be able to release the medicine as a vapor. Hey, folks, we're back on an hour, Bob, and with a special guest that from the Amazing Race. For, oh, what was it now? Almost two years ago now? Though? Two, three. Three, three years ago. <laughs> Louis, Louis Stravato is with us tonight, folks. Here he is, there he is, there's Big Lou. And we, we all know that the Amazing Race, and I've said this so many times, <laughs> Even long before Lou was on it, my favorite show on television. Yes, you did. And I saw you on that, and we became good friends we as did. a result of that we show. We became very good friends, yes. And, yes. <laughs> nice to see you again. Good to see you, Bob. How you doing? Good, good. Well, not good, actually. No, I'm, no, I'm dealing not with good. The, yeah, the know, neck. By the way, that. there I go. I think I showed this to you last week. Last show, folks. Who's got it? You got the show, shot of this? This is my neck, and uh, I was in a car accident, and that's, my, that's a titanium plate in my neck. And it's, it's a real pain in the neck. It's almost three inches long. And uh, that's my head right there. And it holds, it holds the, uh, here's the side view. Look at this. Five screws, Louis, holding yeah. my neck together. Oh. And it hurts like heck. And I, I guess it must have shifted because now it's back to burning down my hands again. And that, that, that was a result of a rear end collision. Cut. I got rear ended in Pawtucket. You know how they say most accidents happen within, what, 25 miles of your house? Yeah, this, less, hap actually. Did this happen yeah. within a mile of my house. Yeah, no, that's when most accidents happen. Really? Within a mile. 
Is it really? No, for real, yeah. Well, yeah, by no, the way. For real, because you're comfortable with your surroundings. Right. Oh, well, by the way, uh, Lou is a Providence police officer. How many yeah. years? Uh, tw- I'm in my 26th. I completed 26 Are March 1st. Yep, so I'm in my 27th year. Thank you. Wow. Yeah. wow. 27 years. Yeah. I'm in my 22nd year. Yeah. <laughs> I'm ready to do something new, Bob. So, yeah? Uh, yeah. Well, you are doing something new. I no, mean, I am. Really, I've been doing really a lot of things. You've really done well uh, from that uh, amazing race. More than most people I know. This more is true. More than most people I even saw. <laughs> this is true. Or I've, even heard I've of. I've wrote out my 15 minutes of fame. I've extended no, you, you're it. You're in 15 <laughs> years of fame. Yeah. <laughs> Now, what have you been well, doing? thanks to people like you. So it's no, been well, you're a great guy. You're, Thank you. You're, you're a Thank great you. guy. You got you got the personality for it. What do you got? You want to shout out somebody? Who do you oh, want I do want to shout out on uh, March. I mean, I'm sorry, April 23rd. It's a Tuesday night from 6 p.m. to 10 p.m. Um, I need you to come out to Vanities, which is in Providence, Rhode Island. Right. And I want you to come out there. I'm going to be guest bartending with my girlfriend. Don't say money though. Don't say prices. No, no, no. But no, 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 no money. I'm not talking yeah. about money. It, it's a charity. Right. It's a charity event. All the tips are going to go to... Cha- um, oh, cool. Um, I'm going to go to the uh, National... Now, Vanity's on South Main Street, isn't it? Yes. National Alliance for Mental Health Illnesses. Um, and uh, it, it kind of hits home for me, and it's something I really want to uh, promote and support. So if you can all come out, I'd really appreciate it. You know, have a drink and give me a couple of dollars for tips. There you go. To help support this cause. Now, it's a Tuesday uh, night. It's a Tuesday night, April 23rd, from 6 p.m. to 10 p.m. Because I've been invited to some kind of a, a singles event over there at Vanities. That's why I knew where it was. I haven't been to it yet. but No, it's really nice. Vanities, they, they do an absolutely fabulous job there. Who owns that, do you know? Oh, uh, God, you know, I, I, I've met him, but I really don't know his oh, name. So. Oh, all right. Well, because yeah. I, I know really somebody. Nice, really nice guy. Somebody says I know the owner yeah, there. Yeah, yeah, so, You know, but well, I, I don't sure remember. You, do. you know everybody. <laughs> oh, you're knowing everybody. How, how's uh, uh, Mike doing? How's your partner? Your Mike's doing amazing well. Mike, race. Mike um, who was my partner on The Amazing Race, right. He um, just made Sergeant. Oh, so cool. He's, he, uh, in, in Newport. Newport. Island, yeah, in Newport, Newport. Island, He's making, um, he's actually working the third shift now. Oh. Go after years of working oh. days. He's gotta That's got to stink, yeah. though. I don't even know if I'd want the no, Sergeant. No, I don't, I don't, I don't uh, want to. To have to work the third shift? That's no. the worst, because it's, not, it's no. not normal, by the way. They've proven that that is not natural for a human being to be up all night. You know that, John? It is not natural for you because you have to sleep during the day. But time. you know, thank I God, cannot sleep. Thank God during there the are night. people that do it though. So, exactly, I mean, exactly. Know, so. and, and some people actually like. Some people doing love it. it. There's yeah. some guys in my job that w- won't work any other shift. So yeah, yeah. You know. But I, I just can't see it. But what what else have you been doing? Um, I just been really busy um, with life in general. I've been, um, you know, um, my my gym that I train at in Bristol, Rhode Island, Ultimate Fitness Gym, has just changed it to Icon Boxing Gym. It's Oxing, Icon Boxing Club. It's on 15 Gooding Avenue. Oh, you're, you're boxing too, right? Yeah, uh, in Bristol, Rhode Island. Yeah. And um, my, uh, Jesse Amarello, the uh, proprietor and owner, uh, he is doing a fabulous job there. He's been having boxing event nights. So right. if you follow me on Facebook, you'll see these event nights and just come out. It's only like, you know, anywhere between 10 and $20. It's cheap night and you see some good boxing exhibition. Yep. yep. So it's really cool. He's doing now, a really good job. Oh, you've been to, oh, you must have been at Leo's down there. Cause they've been, oh, yeah, they've been, been on Leo's. the show. It's been he's, a while been ago. On the show. Yeah. 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 I got to get him on the show. Yeah. He's a good guy. He's so. a good guy. Anyway, amazing race, 2013. Yes. Now we're down to what? Seven teams, I guess. They got lucky that, 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 that newly, uh, married yep, couple. Yep, Max and um, they got lucky. I thought they were going to be. See, I got my nose over him. <laughs> um, Max and Katie. Max and Katie. Max and Katie got, got very lucky. He's a little lucky. cocky. He's, he's a little guy. Cocky. You know he's what? You know, it's funny. Everybody, because I do a uh, podcast show every right. Sunday night. All right. right, right. And Max, I've re- I've reached out to Max and I've talked to him privately right. on Facebook. And he probably isn't as cocky, right? No, he's such a nice, because you know, and I know you guy. Got, I know you got to say the way they edit it. They well, edit it to, to 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 spice it up a little bit. A little bit, because I talk to the camera guys and sound guys. I go, you can make me look like an a hole, you know. Right. And he's like. No, look, if you're an a-hole, you're an a-hole, right, and right. there's just nothing, make it nothing we're going to do about it. Yeah, you know, gonna you're just going to, yeah. So it doesn't hurt for ratings. you, you got to right. have that kind of character. Right. you got to have that, you know, that person that's going to cause controversy. I mean, look at his girlfriend. She's so, like, off the wall, you know. <laughs> so, I mean, but you got some really cool, you I, know, I like the, the, the I like my, my favorite team. Is is the the older couple there the the southern couple? Yes, yeah. uh, 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 Juanita oh, or whatever. Yeah, no, name Chuck is. Chuck and Winona. Winona, yeah, Chuck, Chuck and Winona. Winona. They, they're not going to win it because yeah. they like, although they they uh, you know, you they never did know. well in this A- last. Anything thing. can happen on the race. Yeah, anything yeah. can happen on the race. They came in third this past leg. Right, you know, right. I mean, they're in, they're in um, you know where they are now, um, Indonesia. Um, they are, they're doing well. I mean, I like I really like Anthony and Bates. You oh, know, yes. The hockey, the hockey players. players. Yes. They're playing yes. really well. Are they they're brothers? Fun cup. Yes. Yes. They are brothers. Yes, they are brothers. Right? Yes. yes. 
They're yeah, playing and well. And not only that, there's a little romance going on there. Oh, yeah, right? yeah the country singers. Jen, the country singers. Yeah, the country singers, singers yeah, like yeah. them. They like that. You know, it goes back and forth. Yeah. Yeah, so, yeah with the Jennifer and Car Caroline. So, I mean, they, they um, that's kind of cute. You know, <laughs> they're, they're cool. It is. And then you got, yeah. uh, uh, well, you got Car jo Joey and Megan. Joey and Megan. That's, yep. Those are the... Um, the YouTube, the YouTube, YouTube host, YouTube yeah. Host. They're on the outs now. They're on well, the outs. Well, they're, they're, they're not they, Nobody really, you know, is not liking them, I guess. You know, well, you know, no, because they were part of that other alliance. Yeah. I hate that word alliance. These yeah. teams are alliance. They it's, align you know, it's, it's really tough to have an alliance on The Amazing Race. It's not like Survivor. Right. You know, in the beginning, you try to put people, gather people around you just to, you know, either gather information, gather some intelligence, right. you know, to move on to the next, or, you know, or vice versa. A little versa. help like here a little help. Yeah, yeah. It doesn't hurt, you know? Right. And you keep somebody close to you so you have at least that person to beat, you know? Right. Because so. people think, and, and they're, they're usually wrong, well, look at, at the beginning, the, the two brothers there, the, uh, the two twin brothers were doctors, yeah. smart guys, yeah. health nuts, yeah. and everything else. People, you, you would have thought that they would have done well. I, I thought they were going to do really well. But they can't, couldn't handle the water sport. No, they no. couldn't handle I the mean, water they, sport. They just choked on the water sport. So yeah. they just fell apart. And, and, uh, and, and that, that was the demise. So, I mean, exactly. Was, yeah. and, and you think, sometimes you think, uh, you get athletes on there, and you figure, oh, they're going to be the favorites, so they end up blowing out of something. Yeah. Or, or you got these older folks, and you think they're going to fall by the wayside, like this one owner thing, yep. which may end up not happening, like you said. Yeah, they could yeah. end up, like this last thing, they did that trap thing. He did that, you yep. know, he pulled that off right away. I, love, I think Pam um, and Winnie, the Pamela, the Asian girls. Yeah, exactly. I think they're it, sleepers. They're the favorite. I, they're my favorites. They're my favorites. I'm telling you, they. you watch them. They're they're gonna, they, got, they may be in the top three. They are absolutely so, a sharp girl. Yeah. So, now, they sisters are just friends. No, they're best friends. Yeah. They're best friends. They're, they're very sharp. Now, now I feel real, you know, I feel real bad for David and Connor. David, um, the father and son. Oh, I was the father say and that. son. Yeah, he, cancer, survive, cancer survivors. Both. You know, them. both of both them. them. Um, he he pulls his Achilles tendon in the, like the, at the end of the second oh, second leg of the race. You know. And he carried but, what? I'll tell and you what. He won one. He won one. They yeah. won a leg after he after won a leg. He so, ruptured I mean, the father. Ruptured his Achilles tendon. Not only did he run. The, the, this season had the longest leg of any season ever, right? Right, because it, it went from one night into the the, the following night. Um, not only did he complete that, he won a leg of a race and with went, you know, with, with, a with it. Achilles you know, Center. Grant that he had a speed pass, you know, so right. that really helped him out. But right. who cares? I mean, it's, it's part of the race. Now and, and uh, here are these guys, yep. uh, a fa both father and son, the cancer survivors, and they decided to go on the amazing race, yep. and they were doing well. And mm -hmm. it ends up, they got to quit. Well, the good thing is John and Jessica, who they aligned themselves with, John and Jessica won the very first leg of the race, right. and they were given two speed passes. Right. One for them and one for whoever they wanted and to give to. They almost screwed and them. They, they almost shafted them. They almost, no, it did screw them. They, well, they it did. did. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It did screw them. They, they didn't use it. Right. They didn't use oh, it. Oh, they screwed either. themselves. They screwed themselves. They but no, no, but they almost shafted uh, uh, Connor. Oh, Dave and Connor, yeah. Because they weren't going to give it yeah, to him Dave at first. Connor, right. They only get. I think they only gave it to him because they didn't think they were uh, going to uh, be in a, um, a factor in the Amazing Race. That's yeah. why I think they end up giving it to him, and then he got shafted because he outsmarted himself. He decided I'll tell you not what, to use if it. If David didn't hurt his leg, he, they would have won that. They could have won. Oh, that. I would have been yeah. rooting for him to win. Yes. I'll tell you that. Yes. The father yes. and son. Yeah. I, well, I, I mean, that. what a great season so far. They're bouncing all over the place. Have you ever been to Bora Bora? Have you no, been? Me no, neither. I love. Oh, oh God, my God. I love to go to some I, of the I places. actually go. I actually Googled it right yep. to see how long it would take to get there. It's like twenty hours. Oh, yeah. You know, yeah. so, uh, well, I've been to Thailand. But let's, I, mean, I, know, I, know, there. I know we're probably running short, but le Vietnam, you know, they, they had it was a big issue. It was all oh. over the news. Um, but I truly believe in my heart that the producers and creators they of the Amazing think Race they didn't think had no ill intentions. No, no, no. They, and they, they did they, retract. They right. did have Phil doing um, a thing at the beginning of the show. Right. Just talking about it. Because I, you know, I even was questioning that. But I, but I do understand, by the way, Phil is from... Um, oh, yeah. No, he's not from no, Australia. No, he's, he's from... Um, no. No, um, no he's on. from uh, New Zealand. New Zealand, yes. He's from Christ New Zealand. Christchurch, so New Zealand. They had right. really nothing... No, they didn't... They weren't thinking of uh, uh, Vietnam as far as what we think of Vietnam. No. My brother died of age from age, complications from Agent Orange yeah. after being two, two, doing two, uh, tours of duty in Vietnam. Yeah. So I didn't like it when they were almost glorifying uh, Hanoi and they're showing well, where mean, they shot okay, down. Right. They, they had a museum I get there. that. I had an uncle who fought, too. I mean, so, yeah. so it's just like... You know, Vietnam now, the Vietnamese, they like us, they love right, us, right. they worship us. Right. So I don't, there was no ill intentions there. They were just showing the beauty of Vietnam. Right. Dave, and, Dave and Mary from past seasons, who were friends of mine, 
they they went to Vietnam on their season. He actually had his father's his father's bomber jacket on. He was afraid to wear it because he thought he would get killed out there. Really? You know? So I, it, I it was like totally to he, until he met the people. Yep. It was totally opposite. They say it's a place you got to visit. I yeah, really yeah. They, I hear that a lot. Yeah, I, I'd so, like to go there. I really would. Yeah. I really. Would well, what like a great season, there. and I thank you for having me to, to well, talk we, about you, it. Wait a minute, we've, we've got one team, the the, the uh, uh, skaters. I said I said uh, oh, Anthony say. and Bates. No. No. What do you mean oh. the skaters? Oh, the mothers. Oh, Mo- come Mona on. and Dad. Yeah, Mona and Dad. All right, the all ro- right. The roller, the derby, roller moms. derby moms. Yeah. They're playing well. They're doing well. They're another team that's very quiet, very low key, and they're playing yeah. good. And they, well, they're they're physically in good shape, and they're mothers, so they they're smart. You know, they they're mature. So they another sleeper, could pull another that sleeper off. team. They, in fact, you know, I'll as, tell I, you what, as I think of it, they probably got a I better got, shot. Don't be shocked to see three um, all-female teams run for the finish for line. The finish, sorry, that, for that's the first time. Very maybe, well, yeah. at least two. I, I think at least two. two yeah. I think the two brothers are going to be in it. I think the yeah, two brothers probably, are going to be yeah. in the end. Yeah. It's going to be tough for them to beat. They're both athletes. Right. They're pretty smart guys. Yeah. It, it's well, as you know when you're traveling. And they're very charismatic. You've got to know. Well, look how look at how the two brothers won it on your race. Yeah. They pulled that thing at the end there yeah. on the plane. Right. They out, outsmarted everybody. Yeah, they did. They yeah. worked their way up to, to yep. first class, yep. and they uh, God bless them. They hey. won the race based on that. It's a game for a million dollars. I tell people that all the time. Yep. You know, you're gonna you go. Oh, you're gonna U-turn. Yeah, I'm gonna U-turn. Yeah, because somebody asked me. I know. Somebody asked me on Twitter. Louis Stravato, would you have? Would you you turn me? I said, if, you better believe if, it. Absolutely, you better believe he goes, it. That's the answer I wanted to hear. No, you're not friends. You're not friends. You weren't yeah. friends before the right. race. Right. You're not going to get married. Yeah. Uh, these but people. I am still close with a lot of the players. Oh yeah, so but I, I mean, like, you got to. Right. You're in the game. It's a game. That's yeah. part of the game. The game is to you. It's a plane for a million right. dollars. Yeah. So. All right. You got to have. I'm going to have you back before. This, this season's season. over. All right. All right. We'll, we'll talk about it. You know what we'll do before when we're down to the last three. We're going to. You and I are going to. Handicap it. Who, we're going to pick the all winners, right, all, okay. right? all right? We're cool. going to pick the winners. Thank you. Can you take us out of here? Dan, Dan thank you for stopping by tonight, huh, Dan Lilly? You guys are, you guys are amazing. I, I'm going to come out and Did see you. Can you tell me who's there with you, please? This is uh, Ken Reynolds on the bass. Hi, Ken Reynolds on the bass. St. Germain on drums and my old friend Mike Scatman Sullivan on lead guitar. Scatman, huh? Yeah. All right, take us out of here and thank you for stopping by on an hour with Bob. you're really thinking of and I don't want to tell you how I feel round and round we go like a ship out of control with no captain at the wheel no captain at the wheel no why don't we get 3 a.m. listening to you breathe Wondering what you're seeing in your dreams Hoping that the day ahead will take care of itself With no captain at the wheel No captain at the wheel No Yeah, God's in his heaven May he look down on us here Share a little of his grace We got no idea of how the mother's
question is heaven. May you look down on us here. Shed a little of this grain. We're living on a planet. We got no idea of how to run this race. Tell me what you're really thinking of And I don't want to tell you how I feel Round and round we go Like a ship out of control With no captain at the wheel I said no 